Hi folks, this is Monty Taylor with episode 27. Who is the right who for your product? And hint, you should know this. I'm very honored that over the years I've had the opportunity to meet and coach many hundreds of extraordinary men and women who, at the same time, have also allowed me to take a look at their vision of the future. I'm continually surprised, oh and probably shouldn't be, when those same entrepreneurs who are passionate about their product and their opportunity or both also assume that everyone else will be automatically thrilled. So I ask, who is your target customer? And the frequent response is, everyone. You may have heard this before, but it bears repeating. If you try to attract everyone, you attract no one. So this brings up the subject of the target customer. And to be clear, I mean target customer for your product or service and target customer for your opportunity. Unfortunately, most target customer talk is rubbish. It's often way too general like people who want to be healthy or stay-at-home moms. It fails to drill down on one specific person and it rarely goes deep into the psychology of the customer. Drilling deep is vital if you want to sell anything successfully. The biggest and most common mistake most people make is that they think they already understand what everyone wants and they know what they want. Wrong. Developing a customer avatar must be part of your business strategy. Without knowing your ideal customer avatar, your sales approach will be generic and ineffective with no real purpose or clear message. The law of attraction won't help you. Taking the time to determine who is exactly the right who for your product will pay tremendous positive benefits for both short and long-term business success. But what is a customer avatar? A customer avatar is an individual with a name, a picture, a specific demographic, and other characteristics. Stay with me here. An avatar is not a real person, but a composite of the characteristics of many real people. So to be clear, you are describing your target market, the people that you want most as your customers and will most likely buy from you again and again. It needs to be specific and focused. A common mistake many people make is to create a customer avatar that is too broad or general. Your avatar needs to speak to your ideal customer in a way that when they see your marketing copy or hear your sales message or see your website, or speak with you. It's almost like you've read his or her mind because you've identified their pain points, their fears, their frustrations, their desires, and their dreams. So what information goes into a customer avatar? A customer avatar brings together the facts you've gathered from thinking about, or watching, and listening to, or interviewing the people you serve or hope to serve. It's important to take the time and energy to get into their heads. What are their key phrases or quotes? What experiences or expertise do they often have? What are their values, their emotions? What is the technology that they use? What about their social and cultural environments? Demographics, what are their age, sex, marital status? Hair, eye color, you name it, and yes, all of these are important. First, list all of the common traits of your ideal customers, both demographic and psychographic. Then roll all of these commonalities into one specific person. Give him or her a full identity, a name, an age, occupation, family. To create your customer avatar, you have to think about her life, her family, her interests, and what her fears are. And is it a her? For example, in my first two books, my customer avatar was Mary. And while I won't list all of the traits here, it was very, very granular, and that's who I wrote to. Step into her shoes. See her life through her eyes and feel her emotions as you write the story. What is her family status? Where does she live? And what is she not getting that your product could offer? 
Out of all of those similar products, why should she choose yours or choose nothing at all? Make a list of all of her possible responses. There's an old saying in advertising, if you can't turn yourself into your customer, then you probably shouldn't be trying to sell them anything at all. Here's the thing. So many people skip this altogether and jump in without having the foggiest idea of who their customer is and what they want. This is an opportunity for you to set yourself apart from the average run-of-the-mill distributor or affiliate who rarely succeeds, if at all. Most of your competition, and I use that term loosely, doesn't do this stuff. They don't take the time. So commit to investing just one hour to do this exercise. Invest that hour in your future. It will pay off enormously. It will pay huge dividends. The law of attraction requires you to be crystal clear on who or what it is you want to attract. Or it doesn't work. Once again, this is Monty Taylor, and thanks for joining me for this episode.